My name is Steve Willits and I'm here at the Air Lab at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm here today to tell you about our Tartan rescue team for the Go Aero Challenge. What we do here at the Air Lab is develop state-of-the-art methods for drone autonomy applications, which includes software, sensors, and also hardware. The Go Aero Challenge gives us the opportunity to take this to the next level, in larger scale, more capable drones for search and rescue. We started looking at this problem in the summer of 2024 with a couple interns and created a class that we taught in the fall semester here at CMU to have students work specifically on this Go Aero challenge. A couple of the challenges that we need to face are carrying a human and also supplies on board our aircraft, which weighs about 1,500 pounds and needs to be FAA certified. We expect the aircraft to need roughly 90 minutes of flight time and this would be continuous and requires a lot of onboard energy. 80% of the flight operations need to be autonomous. And the main reason for this is that there will be no onboard pilot for our aircraft. The pilot will be remotely commanding the aircraft from a command center to get the aircraft into an environment, land, pick up supplies, or a person, and bring them back to safety. We do this autonomy through very reliable combinations of sensors, software, and a robust pilot interface. We're going to have to face the challenge of flying in austere flight conditions, with nighttime flying, flying in fog, rain, snow, very windy conditions at times. And we'll also be confined to areas near the ground where there could be lots of obstacles that need to be detected and avoided. To do these missions, we're going to need a very reliable and rigid aircraft control system. And we're going to need a lot of power on board to give us the thrust the weight that we need. So we're very excited to have won the Phase 1 award for Go Aero and to also receive a NASA grant to get us started. We plan on using these funds toward building a new airframe, testing system components toward a final flight demonstration in 2026. We also plan to teach a fall semester and a spring semester course that is specifically tailored toward building our Go Aero team and technology. This course will be open to all students at Carnegie Mellon. We'd like to thank Go Aero, all the sponsors and the mentors that have participated in this phase one effort and for giving us the opportunity to move on to phase two. We believe that our team has the opportunity to make a real impact and save lives in the future.